Good day, YouTube. I hope you're all having a great day. Today's episode is an additional upload of what we normally do on our Wednesday and Saturday content, but there's a reason why the main winter update is now available. So we're going to jump right in to have a look at what we're getting. Let's go. So for main winter update for FM22, PC Mac is available now with this initial refresh, including updated squads. Following for conclusion of the January transfer window. The main winter update is also now live for FM22, Xbox, mobile and touch. What have they done? More than 4.4 million database changes are incorporated within the main winter update, including changes to player data based on their performance in the first half of the season. Oh, OK, I didn't actually realise they did this. I literally thought the main winter update was all about for transfers um, and not about for stats. So they've even changed some stats around to kind of incorporate how they've done in the first half of the season. Interesting. OK, even more excitingly, the main winter update brings with it the return of versus mode for PC and Mac gamers. You'll need to be an FMFC member to access versus. Log in via the FM22 start screen to get started and compete against your friends. Oh, OK, that's good because I was thinking about doing some calibrations. If you're a YouTuber out there, give me a message. This update also contains fixes and improvements as you would from an update. All gameplay adjustments will take effect in current careers, although you will need to begin a new save to take advantage of the data updates. OK, so we've got Ash friends there and Barcelona save. I guess once we've maybe if we finish the season, see where we're at, if we're bored of it, I would probably start a new save. But not at the moment. I mean, I've got quite a few things going on uh, within the last update for 22.3 update included, but are not limited to. So tweaks to inside wingers, forwards, and how often the cut inside for ball when attacking. So what does that mean? Have they increased that? Or is that decreased? From what I've seen so far, I mean, I use inside wingers and I don't see them cut inside that much. But then again, if you haven't got an overlap or you're not protecting that wing, would they? Would they use intelligent to cut in? I guess uh, if their intelligence, their mentality, strong positioning would mean that they would position themselves to cut inside, right? If they've got great dribbling, they're going to succeed with that dribble inside and then maybe ping a shot if they've got a great long shot. So I'm not too sure what that's going to do. A standard again, a number of stability and crash fixes. Format structure and rule changes for nations including, but not limited to Argentina. I didn't realise there was any changes or is that something they just didn't add in? Not too sure on that one. If you know, leave me a comment below. Added last match analysis to be viewable after one match is played rather than having to wait for three matches. Okay. Again, I thought that I could analyze my last match. Adding an option to remove 3D eyebrows when using photo fit. 3D eyebrows? Are mine 3D? <laughs> okay. Uh, fixed freeze when adding teams to club continental competitions. Okay. Uh, tweaks, to, uh, tweaks to how dynamic youth ratings work, including some rebalancing and allowancing allowances for smaller nations to receive boosts within realistic parameters okay again just more realism there which is great and then you can go on to for forums if you want to find out any more information most updates of this nature should download automatically but if yours doesn't just quit and relaunch steam or epic game store to prompt it to do so if you're playing via the windows store or game pass you may need to manually search for for update more information is available here. We'll go on to that in a second because I've got the uh, Game Pass version. The final winter update follows in a few weeks covering data from Windows that closed in February. In OK, so that's MLS China. So they're going to do a little top up. OK, let's go into available here. What's this? Get updates for games and uh, for apps and games in Microsoft Store. OK, just say so again, just how we uh, downloaded and installed for Game Pass editor for Game Pass. If you don't know how to do that, go check out my link above. I might actually do that now. Store, because it's available now, right? Uh, apps. Okay, I feel like library. Okay, so I've just checked Microsoft Store and it's only showing me for editor as expected because that's where I downloaded it. So I don't know why the game would be there for an update. And here, we, here you go. Look, so it's, it's updating. So we click on it and then you just press update. That's it. 
install and I'm downloading. So you don't need to go via store. So that's a little bit of a mistake on their part. But luckily we've noticed it and I've just shown you what you just need to do if you haven't done it already. Thank you for watching my video. If you want to continue watching more videos like this one or further content on Football Manager, Patrick and FIFA, then please subscribe to my channel. It would be greatly appreciated. Thank you very much. Have a good day.